Hello Python programmers, this is AK. In this video, I'm going to write some piece of code that will help you to track the motion of your body in real time. As you know, in our channel, we already explored the MediaPipe library. So by using the MediaPipe library, I already explained the hand reduction project in past. I got some good responses for that video. So I decided to make another episode by using the MediaPipe again. Okay, so if you are new to MediaPipe, just check out the MediaPipe playlist that I created. It will help you to cover the basics about that. And if you already watched that video, then you can follow this video. So in the last video of MediaPipe, I demonstrated how to detect the hand detection using MediaPipe functions. In this video, I'm going to explain you how to detect the body motion posture by using MediaPipe functions. I think this video is very helpful for you to understand the concepts of MediaPipe. And if this video gets some good responses, I will make another computer vision project using MediaPipe. Before starting the video, consider subscribing this channel. It will bring you more new contents from my brain. Okay, so let's start this video. First things first, you need to import here two libraries. One is OpenCV and another one is the MediaPipe. So with these two libraries, we are going to do this project. After importing the libraries, you need to call two instances. These two instances are very important for this project. So let me type the two instances here. Let's store the instances in a new meaningful variables here. So with this practice as an audience, you can easily understand the purpose of these methods. So look at the first variable mp drawing. This variable contains a function called mp.solutions .mp drawing utils. It will help you to draw the tracking lines while your video source is turned on. So this is the main purpose of this method. And the next one is mp post variable. I just wrote mp solutions dot post. It will help you to detect the postures from your video source. So these two are the main methods to initiate the posture deduction by using MediaPipe. And one more thing I just want to add to this video that is I want to add some styling elements to the lines which will track the postures. So for adding some styling content to the lines we have to declare one more variable in the middle. Let's name the variable as MP drawing styles. And in this variable, just type mp.solutions.drawingstyles. I already mentioned the use case of this variable. And one more thing, these three I called here are inbuilt functions from the media pipe library. Here we are not creating anything. We are just calling the functions which they are already created inside the library. Okay. The next step of the project is we are going to working on the video source accessing and parameters. For accessing the video source, you need to use OpenCV here to establish the webcam connection. So just type cv2 dot video capture. So this step will help you to establish the connection between your webcam and your code. And then the parameters. The parameters here are not that much important for this project. I suggesting you to go for the default parameters that they are provided in their documentation. Basically, I'm using two parameters here. One is the minimum detection confidence and another one is minimum tracking confidence. I'm setting the value as 0.5. So uh, I tune the parameter values while checking the re program results before making this script. I felt like nothing improvements in the accuracy, but tuned parameters are tracking the same thing. I don't feel any differences in tuned parameters. So only I suggesting you to go with the default parameters that I mentioned here. Okay. So after this step, we have to write some logics for the detection of postures. I will tell you how to work on that. Let me type the code first and then I will start my explaining procedures. Okay. So you can see here, I wrote some logics. The logic explains that first I declared the while loop here. The condition of the while loop is if the webcam is opened, then execute the following lines of code. That's all. This is a single line condition of this loop. Under the while loop, you can see here I read some I wrote some codes, especially the variable image. It is used to convert the BGR images into RGB images. So why we are converting the BGR to RGB? So you have to understand one thing. If we converted our output source like this, like BGR to RGB, it is easy for the media pipe library to process the images. And the next line also tells like that I declared a results variable here. 
and once I convert it into RGB color structure, this variable start processing the image frames. So this is the important step you must need to understand. Okay. Next step is drawing the line. For drawing the line, we have to set the flag variable is equal to true. Here I set the flag variable state to true. It means you can see the tracking lines in the output. I used this flag variable before we processing the images. Before the processing, you don't need to see the lines because if we put lines means then it will not completely works fine. And these lines should need to be visible after we processing the image frames. This is the logic that I implemented here. Uh, after that, I converted the output from RGB to BGR again. This is used for our convenient. So if we see our images in RGB format, then it will not much appealing. Okay. So as an end user perspective, you need to see everything in a quality manner. So this is the concept I'm trying to say and implement in this code. A next step, I wrote the code for drawing the lines in the output screen. So I used the inbuilt functions from the media pipe to draw the line in the output screen. For drawing lines, we should pass some parameters, right? Here I pass the parameter image, results, post connections, landmark drawing specs. And these parameters just help you to draw the lines in a neat manner. So after that, just call the forward methods from the OpenCV to display uh, output in our screen. You can see here this piece of code currently tracking my hands and my body even if you show any images in front of the screen it will also track okay so this is the concept of this project i hope you understand some new things from this video if you want to know more things like this then subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching and thank you see you on next week uh, i want to reach 1 million likes so please sarap sarapara sarapakara sarapakara sarapaka Sarapakarai, Sarapakarai, yes, yes. Okay, thank you.